Right, come and have a look at this. I can't wait to show you this new project that I've got in the workshop. This is a beautiful Land Rover Defender. I absolutely love these things. I wish this was mine, but unfortunately, this is for a client, this is a job. I don't get to keep it. I absolutely love these old Defenders, and what a brilliant one this is. Things start to get a little bit different around the back. Come around here. Look, my two favorite things, cool old cars and coffee. What more could you want? <laughs> this is for a lovely couple that live down in Devon. This is going to be traveling around the beaches, the car parks, doing events all over Devon and Cornwall, parking in the middle of a field, in the middle of nowhere, and you'll be able to serve premium, perfect coffee. This is a proper espresso machine. It's got everything, uh, frothy wands and super high pressure, proper espresso machine. They're going to taste beautiful. Fresh ground coffee, the only way. That's all going to be plumbed in. And this whole thing is going to be a completely freestanding, self-sufficient defender selling coffee. I have pretty much had complete free reign to do whatever I want. As long as I can get this thing working and serving coffee, they're happy. So I've sort of decided to put it in the back, which is good working height for coffee. Grinder machine here, got this full width, beautiful stainless steel drawer. I'll put a link down below of the guys that made that for me because they're a really great company for making bespoke shelving and covers and things like that. That's awesome. Come and have a look around the side. Brilliant. Sales flat, there's one of these on each side, not gas struts, so they stay up no matter what the weather and how much wind is hammering down on it. The inside, this is where all the mechanics and all the gubbins is happening. This is all going to be clad in stainless steel. This is going to be closed off and this is where the sort of chiller is going to be for the milk around this side here. There's going to be a sort of, a sort of second stainless steel bulkhead coming up over the back of the machine. The top there is all going to be cubby holes for cups and napkins and stirrers and things like that. The other side, the other sales flat will lift up. That's going to be two stainless steel shelves, which is things like syrups and stuff that people that bought the coffees can help themselves to other bits around there. Make sausage rolls, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? Nice hot sausage roll, cakes maybe, that'd be good. Back here is going to be, this is my fresh water, 40 litre tank, fed with this. Comes in from here, so you lift up the sales flat. I've got a gauge and a filler that's going to sit there. I've got a drawer pump, which pulls the, like a lift pump that pulls the water out of that ta out of that tank through a filter into another pump that's a super high pressure pump because to make the perfect espresso you need a lot of water pressure a lot of the parts to do with this are sort of bespoke completely tailor-made for this conversion there's not really a lot i can buy off the shelf so there's a lot of fabricating and designing and building to do one of the first things i'm going to get on with is this wastewater tank which needs to tuck up underneath inside the seal so i'll show you that now Hi, I'm Dom, and welcome to my workshop. You're actually joining me halfway through. I've already done quite a bit of work to it. That was all on my Instagram stories. I sort of started it, basically, when this first turned up, it was running, driving, Defender, but it was a pickup. The couple that own it bought it from a farmer, so it's quite agricultural, and it, they had visions in their head of kind of building a back box or something like that. So I basically mopped one up out of wood, built, uh, which is the best way to start. Bits of cardboard, bits of wood, crude as you like. I sort of made like a kind of back box to go on the, in the pickup bed, and that was gonna be all the coffee stuff in the back. We're working to budget, working to time, and there's things like that. There's, restrictions and I actually swapped the pickup section to like the short roof of the cab, the back, the tailgate, all of those parts for the whole back end of another like a, a van version and I thought that is maybe the best way to go. Took the roof, the back panels, they were obviously the wrong colour, they needed work, they were really filthy, they were a bit dented so I sort of used a bit of panel beating to sort of smooth them all out a little bit, a lot of body work and then fitted them on. They were, they fitted perfectly, which is really, really nice. Had them painted blue, and it's all now, you'd never know. It, just, it looks like a panel van with the sails flaps, one in each side, which is really nice. It looks really smart. At the same time, I found that roof rack, which I really like. It's asking for a set of four spotlights up there, isn't it? But I just think the roof rack is gonna be practical, first of all, so they can carry extra water, extra sort of like um, coolers with milk in and things like that if they need it, wherever they go. The generator, probably gonna go on the roof as well. So it's gonna be practical, that's why I'm putting a ladder on the back of it. It should set them up for years to come, and I really hope they have a successful business with it. Here we 
go. These are the shelves that I've made, stainless steel shelves. Nice little rolled lip on the top. I like that, just so it's nice and smooth. These are going on the back door, so when you open the back door, and I've made them just the right size to fit boxes of tea bags and things like that in, so they're perfect. This is the fresh water tank, so in will be here, and that will get sucked out through here. And then this is for the sender, it's for a, a water level gauge, so you can see how much water there is in it. Pipes, pipes, pipes. There's a small 12 volt pump here that's gonna suck the water out of this tank and feed it into this one. Basically this one needs mains water pressure. Like when you turn taps on at home, it needs that amount of pressure to actually work. So that pump gives that one enough power to then boost it into the machine. Then we've got a cool little Brita filter. So that whichever water they use is gonna be perfectly filtered. And then this little thing on the end is my wastewater tank that's gonna sit underneath the truck. And uh, so all the water that comes out of the coffee machine will go into that. more hose and more fittings along with these ones. This is hopefully all the bits I need to make that wastewater tank. This here is the finished tank. Now, I've spent probably, well, maybe two days now messing around with tabs and brackets and elbows and things, trying to work out all the fine details. I actually started this a long time ago. There's some photos, sorry, Dan, again, can we find those? Of um, mocking up this, it was basically, I uh, used up pieces of cardboard. Most crude, basic way possible, just cut bits of cardboard out to work out what shape to make it, because it is a really obscure shape. First of all, this is the, water tank for the waste water. So you're making your coffee, la la la, brilliant. Here's your nozzles and all your steam and everything like that. There's a tray, this tray sits in here. So any kind of like overspill of milk or leftover water when you're, when you're cleaning the nozzles, it goes down that little hole, through that pipe, and then that's gonna shoot out down the back, round there. And then that tank that I've made sits under the sill. I hope that will make sense. <laughs> oh. Good God, sorry. It kind of makes sense to me, but basically I needed, I needed this sitting really low down because there's no pump or anything like that. It just relies on gravity to flow down from the coffee machine into the tank. So it has to be hung very low. So this is the tank. So it's got this funny little cutout. And this is all just to meet up with existing parts that are underneath the seal on the actual Defender. So this is where the ho that hose will connect to. So this is the way in. So all the, all the sort of milky water will go in there. This one is a vent. So that's gonna go across and back up. I'm so tight for space. I've literally had to put elbows in. It's quite tight under there. When obviously there's water going in, this is a little vent. So the water to the air can escape. And then this here is a little ball valve. Whenever they get home from the event or wherever they are, or when it fills up, they can just pull that round and then it will all drain there, drain into a bucket. This is the first kind of big hurdle that I've actually got over. I'm not quite ready to bolt it in yet because I've got to put some fixings into the actual chassis to bolt it onto. And then, if everything works out well, that, those two. Oh yes, come on, look at that. Support that with my knee. This little notch clears all of this so maintenance and servicing can still happen. Easy enough to get a spanner in there, that's all fine. Got a bolt in there, same on the other side. And then there's two tabs there on the seal that will drill up there. Put some bolts in. There's a ball valve on this side. They won't be hanging down like that. The whole idea is that when you're driving along, you don't really see it. I think that's the wastewater tank finished. This is gonna be a really fun project. It's exactly the kind of thing that I like to do. I enjoy the problem solving side of it. But it's also nice because I get to help the really nice couple that own it and they're starting up a brand new business, which, which I know how difficult that really is. And they are preempting uh, when we get out of this lockdown, all the English holiday makers heading their way down to Devon and Cornwall. It's another project and I know I'm probably bombarding you a little bit. We've got the Vespa, the Defender, then the Land Rover outside. There is a lot going on. If you've liked the video, Please leave some comments below, give me a like, thumbs up, 
Tell all your mates, tell your family, tell your pets, tell everyone and enjoy this journey. <laughs> <laughs>